Hey, what is up guys? It is Kev5 here bringing you another plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a much requested plugin called Group Manager. Um, this one is even easier than Permission ZX, believe it or not. Uh, so let's dive right into it, shall we? First, I'm going to be showing you the web page you will be downloading Group Manager from. Uh, so this is the web page right here, Group Manager. And you, you can read all through all this if you want. Um, this basically explains how to use it, but I'm just going to be showing you how to use it. So stick through the video if you want to learn how to use it. So you want to go to the download portal. And you're going to see basically the downloads for all this stuff. You want to click the one that says download group manager. Uh, and you're going to see this. It's going to see essentials slash group manager. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your files, FTB file access. Next, you're going to want to type in your lengthy password whatever it happens to be and you're gonna to want to go to plugins okay you have to go to plugins and next you're just gonna hit upload uh, drag and drop and you're gonna to want to hit submit but you wanna you wanna actually put it in this one because uh, it needs to upload and unpack it and then you'd hit submit and you would see whenever it loads because my internet is really really slow you're gonna see where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Alright, right here. You're gonna see an essentials group manager dot jar file provided at the bottom of where your plugins are. And so what you're gonna do once that's done is you're gonna want to go back to your server. And I'm not gonna do it because I have seven people on. You're gonna hit restart. Do not reload the server. Hit restart. It is highly recommended. Uh, back then, I used to say it's better to reload. It's actually better to restart because you can cause errors and all kinds of other stuff with your plugins. Just restart it. It's a lot better. Uh, so once that's done, you're gonna want to go back to your FTB file access. Log in again. Whatever your login happens to be again. Uh, wait for it to load. You're gonna go, want to go back into plugins, okay? And you're gonna see something now called Group Manager. And I'm gonna show you how to get to your your um, permissions YML, and but I have it on a separate document. Like last time, I'm gonna be providing you with a permissions YML, except it's called something different. You're gonna to want to click Worlds next. Yeah, um, you'd think it's Global Groups YML. It's not. You're gonna to want to hit World again. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you to a thing called Groups YML and Users YML. Users YML gives you a list of all the users that have ever been on your server. It's very useful if you're trying to find the name of a person. And I, I believe it gives locations to their last location. Not 100%. But Group YML will be the Permissions YML from Permissions X pretty much. So I'm just going to hit Edit and show you mine. It's really messed up. I'm still working on mine. Because um, although it works, it's very confusing. Like Grasshopper is a first rank, so it should be up here, but it's not. Cool thing about Group Manager and why I highly recommend it, it has inheritance, and that's why I moved from Permissions EX to Permissions, uh, I mean Group Manager. So uh, that's my Permissions YML. I'm sure you don't really care for it much. Remember, it's Groups YML, and that is how you get to it. Uh, so here is the example and what I will be giving out. This is what you call the Group dot yml and this is how i'm going to show you how to set up a group uh, manually uh, not in game because it's I, I find it harder to do in game anyway so as you can see i already have one group set up for you guys by default called member and this member will have every basic essentials um voice cracked uh essentials you know permission that they would need like afk bag back on death compass um all kinds of good good stuff so anyway i'm going to be showing you how to set up a uh owner group and i'll even leave this in you're going to want to do two spaces owner that is going to be the name of the group four spaces default and you can even copy and paste this if you want you're going to want to put as false and if you want a default group, you always want to put true in front of it. I forgot to do that when I was setting this up for you guys. You're going to want to do space, 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 four spaces, permissions. And then you can start setting the permissions. So say um, I want to give them essentials, like every essentials command. I do essentials dot star, the star, which is, um, if you don't know, it's shift eight. Okay, and that will give you the star. So that'll give you every um, essentials command, essentially. Ha, see what I did there? 
Uh, next, you want to do inheritance. And what inheritance is, is it's a, a different thing from group manager that isn't in permissions EX. And you can give inheritance, which will give you every command that the rank previous to it had. And, you know, it continues and continues. So uh, I may have to look at my, um, you know, permissions group.yml file, my real one, to, in order to see this. Uh, yeah, as you can see, inheritance is really easy to set up. So I will show you right now. You're going to want to do space, four more spaces. You're going to do the dash. And you, if you see the group, the group previous to it is called member. So you would do member. So it in, inherit the member's essentials uh, permissions. Which, I mean, it really doesn't matter since the owner has the whole thing anyway. But, it, it you know, it's cool. Next, you want to do info. And do that, the colon. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to do six, and you want to do prefix. And this is where you set the prefix. So you do the single one, and say, uh, for example, this one, you want to do at F, then you do that. Then say you want it to be blue, so you would do at B, and uh, I mean, or whatever it is. I think it's an and sign B, owner. And then and F, you want to do that one. And then you do one space and that. And that right there will set it up for you to be, you know, give owner everything. Um, you can also give yourself op and stuff. I highly recommend it. I've seen a lot of people, they make themselves owner thinking they're op automatically. Um, I recommend you go into console. Just, um, you do this. You do this to give yourself op. You do op and then username, basically. And then it's that simple, uh, that easy to set up. Um, you know, a lot of people think you have to do slash op name. No, you, in console, you um, and in the in game, you can do that if you're already op. But in console, you don't use the slash ever. So, guys, I'm going to be providing this in the description below. Uh, like I said, it's going to be called groups.yml. And I will save that to my desktop. So, there we go. That is set up. Now, finally, what I think I should give you guys uh, for the final take is a lot of people seem to get very, very confused about how to install it and stuff. So I've already told you guys how to install it. I hope you don't get confused. Um, you know, look back in the video if you have gotten confused on how to install it. If you have problems, um, if you happen to have any problems, um, like, you know, um, doing certain things like transitioning and stuff, I can try to help with that. I wasn't too good when it came to transitioning from Permissions EX to Group Manager myself. Uh, I had a lot of problems. I, I found the easiest way to do it is make sure it's late at night, remove Permissions EX completely, uh, copy the, the um, permissions.yml, the text in the file. Then what you want to do is go and install Group Manager and then paste that text. And then you can start doing the inheritance pro the process and stuff and all that stuff. A lot of the things that Group Manager offers. Um, it's really cool. I do not recommend you use Bucket Plugins. Uh, you can't even download uh, Group Manager on Bucket Plugins. Uh, so if you can't find it, that is why. It's not on Bucket Plugins. And Bucket Plugins has been having a lot of errors. So I recommend you just don't use it, period. Use FTB File Access. Download it manually. Restart your server. And do what I told you in the tutorial. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. And as always, have a nice day.